<laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> so, Ran, we've got a great question from Jivana Heyman of AccessibleYoga.org. I noticed that you have lots of guests who explore ways to make yoga accessible, useful and effective. Do you plan to continue with this focus? And after all of these interviews, what do you think is the most important thing that we can do to make yoga accessible? Well, short answer, yes. I mean, I firmly believe that yoga is this amazing gift to the world and that as such it should be shared with as many people as possible and as many people as possible should have access to it. I've said this on the podcast numerous times that yoga for me it was fairly instrumental in my recovery from stomach cancer and during my treatment so I can really understand the value that I think it brings to people in the world and I also strongly believe and Joe and I have talked about this quite a bit that part of the job of being a yoga teacher is to teach everyone who's in the room and as a newer teacher myself I know that this is it's really hard it's it can be quite challenging and I, I've had some pretty bad failures in this aspect and I'm still learning and you know I want to get better at this but I think that's really what separates being a true teacher of yoga to someone who perhaps is just standing at the front of the room making shapes and I really don't want to disparage anyone's practice or teaching because I think I'm still feeling new to this myself but yeah I think that's something really important and that's just the teaching aspect there's also the aspect of making everyone feel included and that can happen before they've stepped in your studio it can be in the way that you present yourself present your studio so yeah, I think there's a lot of issues to cover there and it's something that we will continue to talk about on the podcast. Great answer, Ron. Thank you. And also before I hand over to you, I just wanted to say to Jivana Heyman, your book, Accessible Yoga, is amazing. Congratulations. It's so powerful. Even the introduction itself is amazing. So yeah, thank you, Jivana. Yeah, so I did a little bit of preparation for this question. <laughs> I wanted to just read out the mission statement of Accessible Yoga. Accessible Yoga believes that all people, regardless of ability or background, deserve equal access to the ancient teachings of yoga, which offer individual empowerment and spiritual awakening. By building a strong network and advocating for a diverse yoga culture that is inclusive and welcoming, we are sharing yoga with all. And I feel like this mission statement is what yoga is all about. It's such a, it's a practice that we can draw from in so many different ways, depending on what we need from it and where we're at that particular day. It's a practice for everyone. And I feel like if someone does not feel welcome or included in my class, something went wrong. That's and a fail. Yeah, that's a fail. Yeah, that wasn't good teaching. And in, as Ram was saying, it's not always easy. You don't always have the tools in your toolbox to be able to express things in a way that that person can understand and can practice. And what I have found has been the most helpful, which I know is a tenant of accessible yoga, is meeting that person where they're at, not feeling like you have the answers for them, but instead it's a creative and what's the word where people work together? Collaborative. Collaborative process. <laughs> we collaborated on that sentence. We did. <laughs> and so I think that hearing from lots of different people, from lots of different backgrounds, all of those different points of view can really just help us meet people where they're at in a way that's better informed. We're not just drawing from our own knowledge and our own experience. We're able to tap into the knowledge and experience of other people. And I feel like a podcast is a great place to be able to do that. And these are the people that I'm most excited to talk to and to hear from, people who've got a different background and a different life and a different perspective to me. And so not only is that going to help me as a teacher, it's like these are the interesting conversations mm. to have. Mm. So we definitely are going to be talking to more people from the accessible yoga world for ourselves. And also with the agenda of hopefully, hopefully sharing this knowledge so that all of the teachers listening feel better equipped and all of the practitioners listening feel better equipped to like say what they need to say. If that teacher is not serving them, it can be really hard to put up your hand and say, this pose isn't going to work for me. 
for this reason. And I think that we need to empower people to be able to speak up for themselves in a way that's appropriate in class and to create the kind of environment within our classes that it is a safe space for people to be able to speak up or signal in another way so that they get what they need from this practice. Beautiful. I guess we've got things to say about this. <laughs> we do, we do. And I think another thing that I've got to say about this is I think it's really telling that we have to have accessible yoga rather than it just being yoga. I think that that suggests how inaccessible a lot of different styles and ways of teaching are and more power to Jivana and the other amazing accessible yogas who are speaking out and offering trainings and offering conferences so that we can steer yoga back to being accessible yoga for everyone. So it won't have to be a separate branch. Beautiful. 